Hey, sleepyhead. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Where is everybody? They're all out, and Lois went to the market, so it's just you and me, kiddo. What's for breakfast? Happy birthday, honey. Let's add a Paris clause to our wedding vows. A Paris clause? Once a month, you go to Paris so that it can be this amazing when you get back. Mm. Well, it's always this amazing for me. Oh, we're never going to get anything done today. Who cares? We'll have plenty of time for this later. Later is such a long way off. Mm, but... What, what, what is so urgent? What do you have to do? Uh, just things. Cold shower, here I come. <sighs> oh my, oh my God, Rex, I'm so sorry. And today, Gigi Morasco, I'm gonna find out exactly what you were so sorry about. Hey! Thank you so much for meeting me. I know it's early. No problem. Here it is. And uh, yeah, I added some other ideas to it. Excellent. So, Nash, what does this have to do with me? I'd like you to come on board. I would like you to work for me too, Sarah. <sighs> Sorry to tell you, but Vicky didn't take the morning shift today. No, she had other plans, but tell me something, Dorian. Why would you lower yourself to come here? You couldn't get a table at the palace? I can get a table at the palace anytime I want. No, I was summoned here by Roxy Balsam. Yeah. Roxy called me here, too. <laughs> you have any idea what it's about? Me nice. Yes, that's the date that Adriana and Rex have chosen for their wedding. And I guess that Roxy wants us to start making plans. Well, I'm a little surprised that you're willing to lift a finger. I thought you'd be doing everything you could to stop the wedding. Quite the contrary. I'm determined to see my daughter walk down that aisle and have the wedding of her dreams. I just hope that the father of the groom and his real son are not in jail by then. that Matthew was already downstairs having his breakfast. Oh. And you have slept very late. I didn't even wake you. Well, we did work until the wee hours this morning. Uh-huh. Fending off the enemies of Buchanan Enterprises. Something I'd rather not think about. I gotta take it. Okay. I'll go get your coffee. Are you sure it was that old bastard cop? Ape, six letters, starts with an M. <sighs> to ape, try mirror. Aping, very good. Awesome. No, don't go, please. Please, I need you. Oh, yeah, but now you have to be on your own because I gotta get ready. What a pleasant surprise. How reliable was that information you gave me on Warren Cobb? It's as reliable as the information I gave you on Webster. This conversation never happened. What conversation? Coffee, pourtois? <laughs> Are you okay? No.
Why, Dorian, are you threatening me? Not at all. I'm well aware of the leverage you have over me. And yet you still have the nerve to suggest. You're a fool, child. If you, if you think people aren't going to eventually find out that Jared is your son and not a big hand at all. How are you going to handle it? Well, we just better hope that it never does come out. Hope is not a plan. Well, that's all we've got right now. You really are in love with her, aren't you? Hmm. I wonder who's going to be more devastated when the truth comes out. You or Vicky? You just can't help yourself, can you? <laughs> um, it's a conditioned reflex by now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, miss it? You know, waitress in Texas? Yeah, I do. I miss, I miss the simplicity, honey. I miss the peace. I do not miss being away from my family. I missed you guys like crazy. Yeah, I know what you mean. Everything okay? Yeah, you know, it's just, um, Nash and the vineyard. He's just been so busy, I've barely been able to see him lately. I'm not complaining, you know, I know how much this means to him. Honey, from what you've told me, he's got an awful lot riding on this. Maybe too much. I am planning a series of events to roll out my new vintage. But I need some top caliber entertainment. Look, I'm thinking wine. You know, it doesn't always have to be cellos in the background. It should be fun, hip. I'm thinking like a, uh, an up-and-coming indie band. So, you're like looking for the next Fallout Boy? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but look, I've been to your parties at the Capricorn, and you know how to throw one hell of a party. Oh, well, it's just one of my many talents. <laughs> you are the girl I'm looking for. Listen, we got a rush, though. There is a two-day conference in Napa next month. Can you put it together by then? What about Capricorn? Capricorn doesn't take up all my time. Mr. Brennan, I think you have yourself a deal. That is great. Oh, listen, uh, i got to take this meeting, but I'd love to talk with you guys tomorrow. Can you stick around? Yeah, no problem. Great. Hey, I cannot believe this. A West Coast gig. Do you have any idea how many doors this will open for me? You didn't think I would forget your birthday, did you? No, but I thought we were keeping it a secret. That doesn't mean you and I can't celebrate. So do I still have to go to spring break camp? I said we would celebrate, not make it a national holiday. I already took the morning off so you could sleep late. Thanks. And for the birthday breakfast. You're very welcome, my love. All right, now make a wish and blow out the candle before the pancakes are covered in wax. And don't ask what I wished for. Me? I know the rules. Tell what you wish for and it won't come true. Yeah, but... But... But it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing I wish for every year, and I know it can never come true. Well, you want to tell me what it is then? Since it doesn't matter? Only if you don't tell anyone else. Just between us, I promise. Fine. The only thing I ever wish for is to meet my dad. Hello, darling. I need you to come over right now. Oh, I can't right now. I'm meeting with Shawnee and Roxy to discuss your wedding. Well, too bad. I need you to come over here. Is everything all right? It will be. If you hold up your end and make sure there is a wedding to plan for, you know what will happen if there isn't. What's going on? Do you think that Nash is in over his head? No, no, I, I don't think so. I just, he's just so driven to make this vineyard a success. Sweetheart, that's been your husband's dream for a very, very long time. If you start to question that, I don't think it's going to end up well. I know, I know, I should be endlessly supportive. Yep, you really should. No, I, 
I do admire his ambition, and I love it actually. But I just, I just don't want him to lose sight of what's really important here. You know, I, I don't want him to lose his integrity. Do you think he would do something unethical? No, no, no. I don't think so. I, I, I know. No matter how much he wants his name to succeed, he's not going to cross any lines to make it happen. You know, let me help you with that. You can't go out with a crooked tie for crying out loud. There you go. in my office this morning. You tell him that I'm going to make him an offer. Oh. But you didn't trust Cobb. No, I don't. Then why are you making him an offer? Everything is under control. Oh? Then why is it bothering you? You never discuss your cases with me. Well, that's different. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Oh. Uh, because it's... It's not different. Hmm. I have to get to the office. You know, I feel sorry for you, Tony. You're in an untenable position. Lying for Jared while lying to Vicky. I just wonder if Vicky's going to be as sympathetic to your dilemma as I am once she finds out. You know something? I see right through you, Dorian. You live to see Vicky hurt. I know that now. You also see that I genuinely do like you, Charlie. And it really does sadden me that you cannot trust Vicky, a woman with whom you are intimately involved. Heaven knows why. You can't trust her with the truth. I mean, not just that Jared is your son, but that Rex isn't your son. Leave it alone, Dorian. I intend to. Haven't I made that clear? And though just a bit concerned about the other people who are in the loop. Roxy, for example. Even she must know that you are not Rex's father. Yeah, but I don't want her knowing that you know. This is so convoluted. Really, I, I, I can't keep track. Hey, Dory, you got a crystal ball or what? There she is. I hear you talking about the track, so you must know what my plans are. Excuse me? Rex and Adriana getting married at the racetrack. My pal runs the demolition derby. Well, now that could get just a little bit noisy. You know, Charlie got a good point there. Because, you know, what's the use if you can't hear I do? All right, let me think about this. Uh, oh, at the vineyard at Nash's. I mean, you know, we can have it there. And at least, uh, you know, we can get a deduction on our wine. Uh, oh, 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 and Christian, he could, uh, he could make a label of a happy couple. You saw the portrait he did of me and Foxy Roxy's, right? I'm going to leave you two to, uh, brainstorm. I have to go and see the bride. And make sure you say hi to our adorable son. <laughs> Will do. Wow, a plug. I hope it's the right kind. Are you kidding? It's the best. I'll pick up everything with this. The mummy crew? That one was Marcy's idea. All right, we just have one more. It's a coupon for one day of fun with your mom. Movie, arcade, laser tag, whatever you want, honey. I know it's not much, but thanks, Mom. Oh. And I know. 
What? How do you finish your sentence? I know we have to keep my birthday a secret, but couldn't we at least tell Rex? Say no. Is it because of my dad? What? Why? Why would you say that? I know you don't like to think about him because he's dead. So maybe my birthday makes you feel sad. Sweetie, your birthday is the happiest day of the year for me because it was the day you were born. Best day of my life. Can I ask one more thing about my dad? Do I remind you of him? More than I can tell you. You started in school? You seemed a little rattled by the phone call. I'm fine. I, it's this plumber I hired. She's a little blase, you know, and I just want to make sure the wedding happens exactly the way we want it to. Well, hire someone else if you don't like this person. No, I don't dislike her. It's just I'm, I'm a little tense, you know. I don't want anything to prevent us from getting married. Only thing that could would be if you came to your senses and realized you could marry royalty if you wanted. Why settle for a schlump like me? Would she stop? You are the love of my life. Hmm. Even if you don't tell me everything. Sure I do. Oh, you didn't tell me about your day yesterday. Uh, not much to tell. All that work? Mm, uh, I spent some time at UV, did some work for Buchanan Enterprises. Mm, that's it? What's with the 20 questions? Nothing. It's just, well, Layla mentioned... Oh, here we go. ...that she saw you at the diner and... What else did she say? Was there something else? <sighs> well, I have a feeling... Knowing Miss Blabby Layla, that it was already reported to you, but from the horse's mouth, I, I got into a little disagreement with Jared Buchanan. A disagreement? I saw him kissing Gigi at B.E. Thought he was hitting on her, pulling rank, didn't like it. Hope that doesn't bother you. No, of course not. You were defending your friend. I think that's wonderful. It says a lot about you. What did I do to deserve the most perfect woman in the world? <sighs> Honey, what was so important that you needed to see me right away? I'm going to see Gigi. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yes, I want to nip it in the bud before she stirs things up. I need you to stay here and fix it. Dorian! Kind of early for a visit, isn't it? Oh, uh, you know, Mom, she just couldn't wait to come over here and discuss wedding things with you. Right? Yes, couldn't wait. With me, but I don't I've think I should really... I've got business to do with Layla. I'm sorry. Be right back. Mm. Have fun! Bye. Bye. So, the wedding. What exactly do you want to discuss with me, Dorian? Where to begin? It's gonna be weird for Charlie, no, to be involved with one of the richest, most powerful women in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I am so intimidating. Well, some men might think so. Apparently, Charlie does not. You know what? I think he's very impressed by money, which is a good thing, you know? Besides, when he met me, he didn't know who the hell I was. He liked a waitress who shared his values and who made him laugh. And I still do. <laughs> Good. You got him bad. Yeah, I do. It's so funny, you know. I ran away from Landview to find out who I am. And in a little cafe in Paris, Texas, of all places, I found out. You know what, Danny? I like who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. And then I found Charlie. How lucky am I? Oh, what big and broad shoulders you got. Roxy. Rex is not our kid. It's oh, all like I don't know that. Just saying all that to drive Dorian crazy. But you know... 
What? You're the creepiest old man. Uh, something about you. Look, the more buzz, the better, right? This shit says we did it. Throwing a big bash at the NASA convention. Brilliant. The thing is, I, I, I'm going to need more cash flow if I'm going to get the band I want in, in, in the venue that's right for the band. You mentioned that on the telephone. Yeah. It's already been approved. Sign here. And the money is yours. What's the problem? Capricorn will be fine for two days. Look, I, I'm just looking out for you. I don't want you to burn out. You'll be working nights at Capricorn and then, what, flying thousands of miles to some convention? Christian, if, if you don't want me to do this, just tell me and I won't. Hey, birthday boy. I know you want to keep playing, but you gotta go get ready. I can't take the whole day off. Fine, I'll put it away. Am I interrupting a party? Uh, um, Shane and I are ha we're having a special breakfast. It's kind of a tradition with us. Honey, why don't you go get your stuff so we can get going? Please, hurry. Uh, Vicky and Natalie aren't here. It's just Shane and me. Good, because um, you're the one I came to see. We need to talk. What do you want to talk about, Adriana? What's this? A candle? Whose birthday is it? About what happened a while ago. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. It's okay. No, no. It's just... Things have been going so well between us. I know. I know. It, you know why you mess up a good thing? I'm sorry. No, you have nothing to apologize for. I know that there can never be anything between us. I never said that. Oh. Well, then what exactly are you saying? Making rules. I don't think that's a good idea. I like how things are. See, for now. What if something happens down the line? Then who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? It's me. Um, listen, I need a favor, all right? Charlie Balsam has been hired to build Pine Valley Edition, and I heard that your meeting with Hadley had got pushed back. So uh, would you talk to Charlie and, you know, welcome him aboard and all that? Uh, if nothing else, we should do it for Vicky, and as you can imagine, it might be a little awkward for me. So, All right, then. Okay, you handle that. And I'll handle this. So, how are you managing in the house since Charlie moved up? Isn't that lonely? Yeah, a little bit in the house, but we see each other almost every single day. In fact, he's meeting me here now. Oh, okay. Well, I should go. I don't want to get third. No, darling, no. Don't go yet. He's not going to be here for a while. He's actually meeting with Roxy this morning to discuss yet another one of her outrageous ideas for Rex and Andrea's wedding. <laughs> okay, Roxy. Since I am in this up to my eyeballs, the least you can do is tell me what it is all about. Why are you so hell-bent on me playing Rex's father? You're not going to drop the ball on me, are you? No, 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 no. This is just between us. I promise you that. I just want to know why I'm mixed up in all of this. That's all. Fine, well, I'm going to tell you because it did me a real big solid. Rex can't find out who his real father is. Because I don't know who his real father is. All I know is that my hubby Wally had nothing to do with it. Mr. Buchanan gave you very high praise on your progress, Miss Rappaport. I'm sorry. Excuse me for being late. No problem. I hadn't realized she would be here. 
As district attorney, Ms. Hannon requested the right to be present at this meeting. And it was granted. Lucky me. And I get to ask questions. The judge was just telling me that Bo gave me a glowing report. Yes, I heard. I heard. I was, I was also wondering whether your progress included uh, remembering your breakdown or <laughs> and confession in the courtroom when you confessed to murdering Spencer Truman. No. My doctor said that I may never remember that. The doctors say it's some sort of self-protection. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, yeah, all right. No, just hold on. Uh, I'm sorry, ladies. I'll be back in one moment. Oh, certainly. Take your time. Thank you. So, Nora. Lindsay? What are you really doing here? Did you expect me to have a breakdown and confess that I knew what I was doing when I murdered Spencer? Come in. Mr. Cox here, Mr. Buchanan. Ah, uh, good morning, Warren. It's good to see you. It's been a long time, Clint. Yes, it has. Take a seat. You, uh, said you had an offer for me. I do. Well, I was wondering when you're going to get around to unloading B's weaker subsidiaries. Well, the answer to that is never. I'm never going to unload anything. Well, then you're a fool. I'm willing to pay market value. Which you drove down. <laughs> oh, the hell I did. Ace was one of my greatest allies. That's what makes this reprehensible. You used my father's death to try and screw over his family. I'm not going to allow that to happen. Let me get something straight. I don't care why you think those companies started to tank. The fact is, they are. B.E. needs to stop the bleeding. There you go. Now, that's something we can agree on. Then we have a deal. We will. Hey. Show that guy some much. No, but you should. He reps Nash's backers. Oh, well, Nash has talked about him, but I never actually met him yet. Well, this partnership is going to be a through-the-roof success. Tell you people. <laughs> they already know it. We'll be in touch. Fantastic. Thanks. Hey. Mm. 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 Okay, all right, get a room. Oh, whoa, that was, um, uh, nice. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, why shouldn't I kiss the woman I love, huh? Everything is going completely fantastic. Not only has Christian here done an amazing job with the artwork, but his beautiful sidekick has agreed to come on as our events coordinator. Sidekick? You are in, right? You dropped the sidekick thing. Well, that's great. Yeah. We gotta hurry. We're off to Napa next month, right? Right. Napa. Uh, I can't just drop everything. No, I wasn't talking about you and me. I was talking about Sarah and me. Hey, Commish. I mean, ex -commish. I mean, Bo. Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, I'm sorry. You got a raw deal. No. It my heart. Well, thank you, thank you. And Charlie, mm. on behalf of Buchanan Enterprises, I want to congratulate you. You won the bid on our uh, Pine Valley project. That, that's great. Th thank you for coming out here to tell me. Sure. Well, good, you know, I want to share some good news also. Our kid and Adriana, they're getting married. May 9th, they set the date. Oh, that is good news. That is, and you know what? I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that Balsam finally found his his father. You seem like a straight shooter to me, and I'm glad that he's got somebody that he can count on now. Somebody he can look up to you. Oh! Oh, and look at that adorable little flower girl. Didn't we admire adorable little flower girl about two minutes ago? Did we? And since was the groom involved in all this wedding stuff, I thought my job was just to show up with a tux and a ring. 
Yes, indeed. I can see why Adriana finds you so entertaining. <laughs> okay, out with it, Dorian. What are you really up to? Why else would you have a birthday candle out? Sometimes Shane likes to pretend it's his birthday. It makes him feel special. You know how kids are. No, I don't. I don't have a kid. Try to fill me in? Why don't you fill me in, Adriana? What do you want from me? Want? I don't want anything from you, Gigi. I just came here to tell you that Rex and I are getting married on May 9th. Yes, I heard. Just a little confused as to why you would come all the way down here to tell me that. Well, I came all the way over here to tell you that if you think that you can screw things up for me and Rex, think again. I'm not going to let anything or anyone get in the way of my wedding. Oh, Lindsay, 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 I don't expect anything from you but lies and deception because that's what you're good at. Nora, 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 don't you think it's time that you moved on from your little vendetta? I mean, I've been acquitted. I'm living with Bo. You're dating Clint. God help the man. And don't those men have enough problems without having to worry about you and your pathetic revenge fantasies? What do you mean those men have enough problems? You know, they've got things coming at them from every angle. They're working together to try to, to save the family business. And the last thing Clint needs is to have to talk you off the ledge with your little Lindsay obsession. I don't need advice from you about how to handle my relationship with Clint. Thank you. Clint and I were man and wife. I think I know more about him than you do. And it's all there. Starting with Caracas in 89, Bangkok in 02. It's, it's just disturbing, ugly business. Where the hell did you get this? What matters is I'm the only one who has that. For now. And I will keep it to myself if you agree to back off. If you don't back off, well, you could be living out your golden years in prison. All right. You won this round. Warren! Phyllis Dolby is still here. Yeah, your uh, brother just took care of business. Wait a minute, we're not finished. <clears throat> what? Buchanan Enterprises is buying you out. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Of course I'm okay with it. I mean, so going to an Apple convention, you know, like I said, I couldn't go anyway. Yeah, I know. Anyway, business. Uh, you got a sex? We can talk about the details. And... Sure. Sounds right. Great. Come on. Are you sure you're okay with it? Nash, Sarah, Napa? Yeah. I'm... Are you okay with it? Why wouldn't I? Not at all. I'm sorry, I'm late. No. I had a quick little meeting with Bob. Really? Yes, you happen to be looking at the person who's going to head up BE's new Pine Valley expansion. You got the job! Yeah. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Well, tell me all about it. When do you start? What do you have oh, to do? I don't want to talk about that stuff right now. All I really want to do now is spend as much time as possible with you. That means more to me now than you'll ever know. Oh. Now, why is it that everyone always suspects that I'm up to something? You don't seriously expect me to answer that. Okay. My one ulterior motive with you marrying my daughter is to make sure that she is happy. Period. So, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that you have a perfect wedding. And that it's the happiest day of our life. Why would I want to screw up your wedding? Why would I even care that you and Rex are getting married? Give me a break. You know damn well that you care. Especially if my fiancé happens to be your son's father. He's not! I have told you that. Why do you keep harassing me about it? Here's my theory, Gigi. You came to town 
hoping to tell Rex the truth, but then you saw how much he loved me and realized that you didn't have a snowball's chance in hell with him. You get an F on your stupid theory. Unless, of course, you're still planning on telling him the truth, because you want him to be a part of Shane's life. You probably think that you can even guilt him into thinking he loves you. Please leave. Now. But you're going to fail, Gigi. Don't be making a damn fool of yourself, because Rex's heart will always belong to me. You can believe whatever you want, whatever feeds your oversized ego. Okay, so if Rex isn't Shane's father, who is? I want to know his name. <laughs>